as we move through fall, bears across the region are on a race against the clock, it's Mother Nature as well, to search for food before the winter and hibernation season begins. CBS 6's Sam Copland has a little Black Bear 101 for us. We're in the midst of a sort of power-eating marathon by black bears across New York known as hyperphagia. During this time, bears can eat as much as 10 times their normal caloric intake, and their goal is simple, put on as much weight as possible before the winter. They are out and about a lot more than normal. Um, with the temperatures cooling, uh, they're more active throughout the day. Uh, they can actually feed up to 20 hours in a single day. Uh, because again, right now their main concern is just uh, consuming as many calories as possible. While the bears tend to cluster over the higher, more sparsely populated terrain of the state, Clark says every county in upstate is bear country, especially as they forage for food this time of year. When we have years of either drought or bad growing conditions, um, that would typically force bears to come more into um, conflict with humans. In other words, years that have healthier plant and crop growth generally means less traveling out of their natural habitat into ours. Still, there are precautions to take because bears will still inevitably venture into the limelight. Making sure that nobody is feeding black bears either intentionally or unintentionally, uh, securing your garbage, not having bird feeders out, um, even things like grills or outdoor pet food could be an attractant. So we want to keep wildlife wild and, um, and let bears do their thing. In the event that you find yourself in contact with a bear, the key is to stay steady. The last thing you want to do is turn and run because bears are predators and then that predatory instinct can kick in. So you want to hold your ground. Um, you know, you can talk to it, yell to it, you know, pick your arms up over your head, make yourself look bigger. Remember, they don't want to be in close contact with us any more than we want to with them. Sam Copland, CBS 6 reporting.